The goal of this video is to set up an Arctic or winter environment in Unity using the terrain functionality as well as setting up the snow material in Blender. So to start in Unity, you want to go to the hierarchy, right click, add a 3D object, add a terrain. Let's name it test terrain for now. And then in the inspector, I'm actually going to change it from paint terrain to raise or lower terrain and then use the built-in brushes, changing the size and or opacity in order to add height to the terrain to make it look like snow piles. Uh, left clicking will add height, holding shift and left clicking will lower height wherever the brush is. So this is a pretty quick demonstration of using these brushes, but it can take, or you can spend a lot of time with these brushes on this tool to actually go set up a full environment, level, map, terrain, whatever the goal is. So once I'm done using the brush tool and I have the terrain height set, I'm actually going to drag the object into a project folder, creating a prefab that can be repeatedly used, even if I delete it from the hierarchy. But instead of using this test terrain, I'm actually going to delete it and then add a terrain that I already added earlier that just has, again, some piles of snow that you'd see in a winter environment. I'm going to open the prefab and you'll notice that I need to actually add a texture or add a layer for that texture. So in order to do that, I'm actually gonna have to create the material in Blender. So I'm going to open Blender, delete the cube, add in a plane, hit seven on the numpad, drag up the window and change it to shader editor, add a material. I'll call it snow material. And then I actually need to change to viewport shading so that way I can actually see what this is. So I'm gonna delete the principal BSDF, add a diffuse BSDF, link that to the output. And then I'm gonna start adding some nodes. So I'll add a color ramp, first of all. They'll be used to show the actual color of the snow, which is white with a tint of blue. So I'm gonna add one color. I'm just gonna add the hex value for it, but you can also use the color wheel to get to a light blue color. And I'm going to bring that value in a little bit on the ramp. And you can see that reflected up top. So I'm gonna add a noise texture and link that to the color ramp. And then for the noise texture, I'm going to link a texture coordinate and link the object to the vector of the noise texture. Then I'm going to max out the detail or close to max out and then increase the scale to around 70, 75. And that's good for the color of the snow, but now I need to actually add a bump and link that to the normal on the diffuse. And then I'm actually gonna take the color of the color ramp and attach it to the height of the bump. And when I scroll in, you can actually see that that's a pretty good Snow material. So now I'm going, what I'm going to do is actually add two image textures to get the normal and diffuse values from Blender to Unity. So I'm going to call the first one snow underscore diffuse and I'll call the second one snow underscore normal. You can leave all the other values as they are. And then I'm going to open up a side window, change it to image editor or UV editor, and then select the diffuse image and right now it's blank 
So I'm going to go up to the top and change the render property. So I'll change the render engine from EV to cycles. And then this is optional, but I'll change the device from CPU to GPU compute, which is a bit faster. And then I'm going to update the render value to match the viewport value of 32, which is again optional. Then I'm going to go down to the bake section and change the bake type from combined to diffuse. Uncheck direct and indirect lighting and make sure that you have selected the snow underscore diffuse image texture node in the material. And then select bake. And it'll take a second, but it will bake the image. And then you can go to the side and save that image wherever you want. And then do the same process for the normal, but change the bake type to normal. Click bake. It'll bake on the normal image. And then you, again, save that image wherever you want to save it. Because we're going to take both of those images and import them into Unity, you can just drag and drop from your desktop or from File Explorer like I have done, and there's the Snow Diffuse and Snow Normal. So you can actually create a material to be able to see what this will look like. I'm gonna name it Snow Material, and then add the Diffuse or drag and drop it onto the Albedo and the Normal onto the Normal. And now when you look at that, you can actually see what the material looks like. But to get the material onto the terrain, we're gonna open up the prefab, gonna go to Edit Terrain Layers, Create Layer, add the snow diffuse that creates a new layer. I'll rename it to snow layer. And then I'm actually going to drag and drop it into the snow folder that I already have set up. And then I also need to add that normal image to the normal map. And now it's automatically updated to be onto the entire layer. Now you can actually paint additional materials on top of this to create like an, a lake or ice or anything else that you want to do. But that's it.